Donovan, you were like the Pied Piper out here today. <laughs> what did it feel like to get this kind of reception here back in Philly? You know what, it, it's an exciting time because here's something special that, that's historic. You know, for the NFL and obviously for the Philadelphia fans, they get a chance to uh, be a part of uh, the NFL draft and, and to watch who the number 14 pick right now of the Philadelphia Eagles will be. And they could say, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now that they were there, you know, here uh, to be able to appreciate it and to watch him throughout his career. How about you, though, the way you've been received by these? Yeah. You can't walk three feet without being mom. Well, I mean, you know, it's, we, we had a lot of success over over a decade here. Um, and at the quarterback position, you know, obviously we get all, all the love and, and we get all the criticism, but it's, it's a position in which, you know, people watch and, and a lot of kids want to play. Um, but I, I love these Philadelphia fans. We fed off their energy each and every week. Uh, we love their passion. We love their energy. Uh, and for, for us, I mean, for me to get a chance to give back and to show my appreciation, it, it's big for me in my heart. Your draft day, you weren't exactly uh, received uh, warmly. Did right. you use that as a chip on your shoulder during your career? It was a little motivation early on. Uh, but as, as my career continued on, I put that behind me and just focused on what I needed to do in order for to try to bring a championship here to Philadelphia. Um, you know, I think a lot of times Philadelphia fans kind of uh, get the bad rap because maybe a handful of guys and their actions. But there are some genuine fans out here who truly love the Philadelphia Eagles. Can you put your analyst hat on and uh, what, do, what do you think of Carson Wentz after one year of play? Well, I think he played like a rookie. I mean, we've all been in that situation. He shows some great, great signs of, of uh, you know, a, a future. Um, and he, there's some things that he wanted to eliminate, and that being the turnovers. But uh, the guys rally behind him. He prepares well. He looks comfortable back there. So it'll be interesting to see where it ends up going uh, for him from this point on. Last year was the first time you were on the Hall of Fame uh, ballot. Right. Um, you think of it much? What would it mean? I don't. I don't think of it. I mean, if it happens, that would be wonderful. I can uh, appreciate it and, and take it in with my family. But if I don't make it, I won't uh, lose any sleep. Um, because you look back on your career, you're just excited about the things you were able to accomplish. You know, I, I'm not here to, to say if I am or if I you know, did I feel like I had a great career? Yeah, I did. I was support, surrounded by great guys. There were guys that I played with who should be in the Hall of Fame. And that's kind of what the thing that I look forward to, seeing those guys get in. What was your, I guess, greatest part about being an Eagle? Uh, you know, from our progression of how it all started in 99 and, you know, how things continued on each and every week, you know, each and every year, excuse me. You know, we continue to take steps forward. Uh, we are one of the dominant teams in, in the NFL. Um, you look at our winning percentage over a decade, you know, with, with us in Indianapolis and then the New England Patriots, we were the top three teams. Um, and, and it says a lot about our head coach, our, our you know, our owner, our GM, uh, and the decision makers upstairs uh, that, that brought in the right guys. Uh, you're here with FedEx today. Talk to yeah. us about that. I love what they've been doing because, you know, with the first pick, meaning the quarterback and, and the running back, the air and the ground game, they're donating $5,000 in their name. Uh, so which would be $10,000 uh, to our USO, our military men who are going over and, and, and you know, fighting for our country and, and putting their lives on the line uh, so that they can come and spend time with family, uh, come back home. Uh, and also they renew their contract with the NFL, makes them the number one carrier. Hey, one last thing about quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, it seems to be harder even than when you came in to come in and be a quarterback in the NFL. A, do you feel it's that way? And, and if so... Why? It's tough to say. I mean, you know, the dynamic is different now. You know, they're throwing the ball a whole lot more. You know, so it's a lot of pressure more on the shoulders of the quarterbacks where they're asked to do more, so to speak. Um, but that's what college is. Colleges are doing it now as well. So um, when you look at percentage, sometimes sometimes it's 70-30, sometimes it's 60-40. You know, but most of the successful teams are somewhere in that 50-50 range.